Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. Fire heater safety, deflagration and burner safety management. In this video course, you will learn why is safety in fire heater an important issue? What is deflagration? How is it prevented by design? What is burner management system? What does it do? How does BMS help to prevent deflagration and explosion in fire heaters? Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce knowledgeable video content for you. So subscribe now before you forget. Fired heaters are commonly used in refineries and petrochemical plants for preheating feed to fractionation columns as in refineries or preheating feed to reactant temperature before it enters the reactors as in petrochemical plants. Because the fuels are burnt to produce and transfer energy to the process fluids, the combustion chambers are at extremely high temperatures. This presents a significant risk to the equipment and operating personnel. When we talk of risk associated with process equipment, in terms of consequence, severity is extremely high in heat transfer equipment, including heat exchangers, fire heaters and boilers. Several incidents including deflagration and explosion have occurred in fire heaters and boilers with severe damage to equipment and injury to operating personnel. No wonder it demands considerable attention of the process designers in terms of risk mitigation strategies and safety instrumental system with very high safety integrity level. On the heater firebox side, Major hazards are possible deflagration and explosion. What is deflagration? Fired heater or any furnace operation presents one of the worst possible hazards one can imagine in chemical process plants. Excess air and high temperature or ignition energy are always present in the furnace chamber during operation. All you need is fuel for ignition in the furnace chamber, that is fire box. So anything can go wrong anytime. As shown in the figure below, the fuel and air mixes and the fuel burns. The combustion is complete at the tip of the burner. The principal safety hazard associated with the wide heater operation is possible internal explosion due to accumulation of unburned fuel in the furnace chamber, which gets reignited subsequently. Due to this reignition and burning, there will be combustion wave propagating at subsonic speed. This is called deflagration. When the deflagration occurs, the pressure in the furnace rises suddenly. This is true because when the unburned fuel burns, there is sudden increase in volume of the flue gas and there is little time for the gas to exit the furnace. Deflagration is a mild explosion. The resulting furnace positive pressure will blow flames through the inspection port. Anyone standing in the vicinity will get injured. In the severe case, when the volume of the unburned fuel is large and its reignition and instantaneous combustion will lead to explosion, the resulting pressure rise will exceed the strength of the furnace wall and the wall may collapse. In addition, the process steams heated in the refineries and petrochemical plants is usually flammable hydrocarbons. High temperature from deflagration can cause localized overheating of the tubes that may lead to tube rupture. Resulting hydrocarbon leak can be catastrophic and can cause serious damage to life and properties. This must be prevented by fire heater safeguarding system.
how does unburned fuel accumulate in the furnace chamber the main reason is incomplete combustion caused either by high fuel pressure low fuel pressure below minimum air flow or flame failure the more likely cause of firebox deflagration is faulty light off this hazard must be managed by suitable isolation of fuel prior to light off and testing and purging of the heater to ensure that there is no fuel in the heater when an ignition source is introduced to light the pilots this can be achieved by following a light off sequence checklist when the manual light off is made or by an instrument based automated light off sequence by your appropriate logic in the burner management system burner management system one of the most widely used system for safeguarding the fired heater or a furnace in refineries petrochemical and chemical process industries is burner management system the principal objective of using bms in furnace control is to prevent explosion and manage the combustion process the bms is offshoot of the national fire protection association nfpa guidelines for furnace safety bms is a furnace safety system that enable safe start up operation and shutdown of multiple burner section of a fired heater it takes into account all the provisions of the nfpa 86 for furnace operation and safety to manage the combustion process and prevent explosion it is important to understand the burner system and how it can create a hazardous situation in the furnace before we move on i would like to make a call to my dear viewers your spec elan channel is one stop learning and skill development destination for your career needs get instant access to useful career oriented subjects and become knowledgeable and competent so do not forget to subscribe please press the subscribe button now these hazardous conditions are especially prevalent during the start up and shutdown of the fired heater during start up the more likely cause of firebox deflagration is faulty light off hence it is important to have reliable instruments automated firing sequence control and well designed safety interlocks equally important is to have reliable ignition source one of the most important item required for burner control system is burner flame detection ultraviolet uv flame detection system are widely applied to natural gas fired heaters due to abundance of uv radiation produced by the combustion of hydrogen in the natural gas infrared ir flame detection are preferred for oil fired heaters infrared flame detector uses infrared radiation produced in the primary combustion of the fuel proper location of the flame detector on the burner is important which depends on many factors including the burner control system design it is determined by the fired heater supplier in co in coordination with the bms provider as integral part of the burner control system design the figure below shows the flame on and flame off conditions in a burner in a fired heater or a boiler the absence of flame is detected by the scanner another important action of the burner management system is purging of the combustion chamber why purging the purpose of purging is to ensure that there is no fuel in the heater or combustion chamber when an ignition source is first introduced to light the pilot purging can be executed by light off sequence checklist during manual light off or 
by providing instrument-based automated light of sequence via appropriate logic in the burner management system. An automated BMS follows a burner lighting sequence logic as shown below. The lighting sequence consists of several steps designed with permissive conditions for proceeding from one step to the next. Each step is important and the action must be executed carefully without any fault. In a multi-burner system, the manual light off will be tedious and due to the inherent risk, manual light off is not recommended. In automated ignition system, the sequence is permitted to proceed to the next step and initiate the action if the permissive conditions for the transition are met. In case the sequence is unable to proceed due to some fault and gets stuck at some intermediate step, a trip action is initiated by the BMS. The burner light off is stopped. The operator has to intervene and analyze and find out what has caused a trip action? But with the data from the BMS, this analysis will be faster and he can sort out the issue and proceed with the next attempt for light off. Shown in the figure below is a BMS installed for a fired heater. As explained before, the BMS manages the light off sequence, monitors the combustion process and checks deflagration through instruments and analysis installed for monitoring furnace pressure and carbon monoxide respectively and also the shutdown sequence. Also note there are redundant block valves in the pilot gas and fuel gas lines with a vent to atmosphere as a measure of extreme safety. Fired heat as safety instrumented function and safety integrity level. As discussed before, faulty light off and the consequent deflagration is generally caused by very high fuel pressure or very low fuel pressure. Hence, SIL 3 interlock is provided for high high fuel gas pressure and low low fuel gas pressure. This SIL 3 trip isolates fuel gas to the main and pilot via redundant black valves and vent valve. Due to severe consequences of deflagration in the heater, flame detector is also used to confirm that the combustion is stable. The heater is stripped via SIL 3 interlock if no flame is detected in the burner. Excess air control. Insufficient air supply to the heater can result in sub stoichiometric combustion. Hence, it is important to maintain excess air in the flue gas. Excess air level is controlled manually by adjustment of the burner registers and stack damper position as shown in the figure below. The oxygen unleashed at the stack can be used to check that sufficient excess air is available. Improper adjustment of the stack damper may cause insufficient combustion air. If the damper is closed completely during firing, it can create a dangerous positive pressure condition in the firebox. To protect the heater from positive pressure, heater trip is activated by a safety instrumented system. The damper actuator fails open on loss of instrument air. In addition, a damper is prevented from complete closure by providing a mechanical stop position to the damper. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career oriented professional students.
Thank you for watching.